number five. When was the last time you played a game where you could harvest organs and equip them on your body? In Rot Flesh, you can do just that. Fight biopunk monsters and drugged up space bandits as a mythological being that is built from the bodies of dead saints. It sounds really involved, but at its core, it's a first person shooter game with a low res and low poly art style. In fact, the whole thing makes a lot more sense when you realize it's from the same developer as Indoparasitic. You can check it out on Steam. Number four. Saturn Deluxe is a twin stick shooter that features an infinite level of chaotic, physics-based baddie blasting. Increase your score by saving allies. A bigger score scores you more power-ups, and more power-ups equals more fun. It's a retro arcade callback, but there's an intensity to the gameplay that matches modern games. 12 enemies, 9 power-ups, 5 level hazards, and one heck of a good time shooting as many things as you can. You can check out Saturn Deluxe on Steam. Number 3 Did you know that Gato can do more than games? It can also make more software to help you make more games. Pixel Over is a tool that helps you take your 2D art and turn it into pixel art. Once it's been pixelized, you can add animations in real time using a bones and keyframe animation system. It supports the importing of images, GIFs, and full 3D models. Boasts built-in pixel artifacts like dithering and pixel-perfect lines, a full layer system, and lets you then export everything into sprite sheets. It's a great tool for anyone looking to jump into pixel-style 2D games. Check it out on Steam. Number two. Embark on an epic space adventure in Astro Miner, where you must build a base, overcome challenges, and construct a spaceship from the asteroid belt. You take control of a brave robot that has been stranded in an asteroid after a crash landing. You'll need to use the resources you find in asteroids to make your way home. The gameplay focuses on exploration, crafting, and base building, and with a procedurally generated map, each playthrough will feel completely different. Collect what you need, establish communications with Earth, and head home. And before we get to our number one spot, congrats to last week's winner, Manner of Mysteries, earning a place in our 2023 Gato Project of the Year tournament. And don't forget to vote for your favorite in the comments below. And number one. Inspired by Celeste, Dead Cells, and even Super Meat Boy, Run the World in Between is described as a highly dynamic platform game with procedurally generated levels. Dodge traps and keep moving as you face the dangers of the world in between to reach for the light. The game features a neat, pixelated art style and a chance for players to speedrun and challenge their platforming skills. Check it out on Steam. 